So in this in this video, there was just a couple of couple of things I wanted to tie up from my last video. So again, just to just to recap, um, maybe you might be wondering, you might be wondering, why did I have result equals to result times m <coughs> just before m minus minus? What if I, what, I mean, why didn't I have this bit? If I had this m minus minus that guaranteed that my loop actually terminated, um, why didn't I just do it this way? Why didn't I have m minus minus and after that, I had result, result equals to, equals to result times m. What is it that this makes it wrong and what is it that this was actually correct? Let's just go back to a loop invent here. In a loop invent, I already said here that uh, if you look at this, uh, if you look in order for this entire piece, let's do this. If in order for this entire piece in blue, in order for this entire piece in blue must equal to must equal to this entire piece in orange because this piece in orange and this piece in blue are both equal to n factorial from my loop invariant. For them to be equal to each other, if they already have a common m2 minus 1 factorial and m2 minus 1 factorial, first thing that we gathered from this was that m m2 times result 2 should be equal to result 3. Now what is this m2 and what is this result 2 here? M 2 and result 2 are those values that were actually holding at this point here. At this point, just at this point 2, whatever was m2 and whatever was result 2. When does, when does, uh, okay, so my, my question now is, when should I, why is it that I have it in this way, which is result equal to result times m followed by m minus minus, rather than having m minus minus after that result equal to result times m. Well, if you look at this code over here, M has already changed. If M has already changed, meaning M at this point is already one less than the M that I started with, meaning M now is this value which is actually M3, if you may. And M3 is nothing but, if I look, if I think about this, M3 over here, this M3 over here is nothing but equal to M2 minus one, okay? But my loop in red, from my loop in red, I already know that it is result three. It is this result 3, whatever is this result at that point, that result 3 must be using the older value of m. If I were to have result equal to result times m, this result that I'm computing at this point is using a value of m that actually happens to be a newer value, meaning it's a value which actually, just to be consistent when loop invariant, it is my m3 that I'm using here. I'm using m3 times whatever was the older result, meaning I'm, what I'm essentially doing at this point is this could be rewritten as just to match it up with my loop invariant. It is nothing but result, result subscript 2 times m3 equals to what this new result here, which is result, result 3. So what I have here is result 3 equals to result 2 times m3, which is in complete violation to what I'm saying over here, which is result 3 should actually be equal to m2 times result 2. So this is one thing that actually, again, just from my loop in red, I'm just using my loop in red to, 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 get, to, get my, to get my code and the body of the loop actually formulated. Now think about special use case. A special use case could be what, okay, what if this loop even doesn't, doesn't begin with in the first place? What when would that condition be? If n is actually equal to zero, if n is equal to zero, then what I know is, what I know is that if n equals to zero, then m is equal to, going to be equal to zero. Result in this case is still going to be one. Okay, that's what my my, my code says here. Result is still going to be one. This loop doesn't this loop doesn't even start. If the loop doesn't start, I'm just going to return back result. What is result? Result is still one. Meaning it makes sense that zero factorial, whatever zero factorial is going to be still be equal to, to one. So again, my loop invent, because I coded this while loop invent, I knew that the, at least the, the code that I just got from it, it's, it's, it's just correct. As long as I had a strong loop invent, something that I knew gets preserved at point, at these various points in my code, I know that what I have formulated is actually, actually correct.